Hello and welcome to the VPP and Honeycomb presentation video. In this short presentation, we would like to show you how to configure VXLAN overlay network for Linux containers by using VPP with Honeycomb to access two separate web services running in distinct containers. We have already created two virtual machines according to the schema in the picture. On virtual machine 2, there are two containers with web servers which are already running. We can now see that before the configuration, we are not able to access web pages located at containers IP addresses 172, 16, 52, 100 and 172, 16, 63, 100. Now we are going to configure VPP through REST API provided by Honeycomb. First we configure virtual machine number 1 as described in the picture. We will create two bridge domains BD1 and BD2. Then we are going to configure and enable Ethernet adapters 090 in bridge domain 1 and 0A0 in bridge domain 2. We will continue with setting up Ethernet adapter 010 which interconnects virtual machines through the VirtualBox internal network. We set its IP address to 10.0.0.1. In the last step, we are going to configure VXLAN interfaces. VXLAN interface 1 belongs to bridge domain 1 and its VXLAN network identifier is 52. VXLAN interface 2 belongs to bridge domain 2 and its VXLAN network identifier is 63. These two VXLAN interfaces have source IP address set to 10.0.0.1 and destination IP address to 10.0.0.2. Next, we are going to configure virtual machine number 2 according to the schema shown. We start with setting up Ethernet adapter 090 with IP address 10.0.0.2 which interconnects the virtual machines in VirtualBox internal network. Then we create bridge domains BD1 and BD2. To be able to get into containers, we create and enable host interfaces for VPP1 in bridge domain 1 and for VPP2 in bridge domain 2. Finally, we set up VXLAN 1 with VXLAN network identifier 52 in bridge domain 1 and VXLAN 2 with VXLAN network identifier 63 in bridge domain 2. These two VXLAN interfaces have source IP address set to 10.0.0.2 and destination IP address to 10.0.0.1. After we have successfully finished the configuration, we are able to access web services in containers and see web pages thanks to VXLAN tunnels with network identifiers 52 and 63. In addition, it is possible to check VXLAN interfaces statistics to see numbers of packets processed by VPP. Thank you for watching.